And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. You know, we had such an interesting time talking about cougars. Um, I want to take this to the next level. We've been... Uh, on and off the air talking about cougars here. And it comes up all the time. And uh, frankly, uh, we don't have, at least to my knowledge, we don't have a lot of older listeners by design. But I know that despite the fact that we target our show to a uh, uh, an audience of, like, say, people between 18 and 44, that, that's, that's the audience and it's mostly male. I know anybody with a radio can tune in, and many people tune in just to hear what people 18 to 44 are saying. So no matter how hard you work at uh, trying to get that as your audience, you never know exactly what you're going to get. And a lot of other people are tuned in just to find out what's going on here. So I thought it might be interesting in this hour of the program to find the oldest, quote unquote, single women out there that we can find. Now, who knows? That might be 32 years old. <laughs> it might be 35. It might be 42. It might be 47. It might be 52. I don't know. But I would like, I, I just want to talk to them. I want to see how they think. What makes them tick? All this talk about men supposedly being intimidated by older women exploiting their sexuality. I want to talk to the oldest sexually active woman we can find when i say sexually active i mean you are well maybe you're married and you screw around in your husband maybe you're divorced maybe you're a widow may who knows what you are the point is you're out there exercising your freedom you're out there getting some And I'm just curious about what that's like. Seriously. So we're going to hang up on all the guys for now. And we're going to talk only to women here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. And I don't care what age you are, ladies, but we're looking for the oldest sexually active females who listen to this show. So we can do a little debrief with you. Of course, I know going out and getting debriefed is pretty much your M.O. But uh, I'd like to find out what that's like because, I, you know, I'm not a chick. What do I know about this? But it would be interesting to find out what it's like to be a sexually active, older, or old female. And maybe you've got some good stories to tell us. So, um, again, I don't know how old we can go. So, don't you might be the oldest. You might be the oldest. I mean, you might be 30 and you might be the oldest. You might be 35 you might be the oldest. <laughs> you might be 70. <laughs> Seriously. And I got to tell you, as I, as I cruise through Craigslist, and as I cruise through, like, all these, uh, these uh, dating websites... I'm amazed at the number of 70-year-olds and 65-year-olds who clearly, although they use all kinds of euphemisms and indirect ways of saying it, uh, you know, they're looking for soulmates or whatever they say, they're looking to get laid. They're looking to get laid. So I want to see how old this goes. 
and I want to see, uh, you know, what it's like to be a, an old or older sexually active female. So if that's you, call me at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Let's start with a 47-year-old. Here's Patty. Patty lives in Orange County. She's on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm doing okay, Patty. Good. All uh, right. 47, sexually active. Um, sexually active since the age 15. <laughs> now, are you married or do you live with anyone? Or you're... No, not married. I was, got didn't get married till I was 37 because I was having a fabulous time. I uh, was in that marriage for eight years. and Then you missed that. having a fabulous time. Absolutely. <laughs> so you got out of it. Yeah, and I then, think no matter whether you're a man or a woman, you know, if you're not in a relationship, you should be able to have all the sex you want. Yeah. No matter no matter what your age. In fact, when I was 30, uh, my fantasy was to be with two men, and I had that. I was 30 years old, and the guys were 22. So where did you go looking? Where do you go looking for it? Um, when you're 47, like, like, and you're 47 year old woman, and you want to get laid, where do you go? Um, you can go to bars, just like your suggestion to men uh, online. There's always willing participants. Um, online. And online, do you say what you're looking for, or do you tone it down like the other older women online? Um, sometimes it's straightforward. It's usually it's usually the younger guys who are more open and easier to talk to about that. And I have to say, when you're um, getting to hit the mid-40s, sometimes uh, that age they have problems being able to keep a woman satisfied. Really? Really. Is that so? <laughs> it is so. Well, I don't date <laughs> Unless they take a little blue or a little orange pill. I don't date men, so I don't know about that. Well, hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so, so you go online, and now in your ad, when you mm -hmm. put a profile or you put a listing on Craigslist or wherever you put it, uh, do you tell what you're looking for, or do you give that mumbo jumbo about looking for a gentleman you can watch sunsets with, or whatever these women are saying? Uh, no, not mumbo jumbo. Just a little bit about myself. What I like to do um, can be listed as. Um, just for fun or dating, as like most men and women do. They say dating. That means no long-term commitment, um, just looking to have fun. And, you know, I'm... I'm well, women say that, but then they start saying, oh, and I like musical theater, and I like going to the beach. It's like, hey, if you're only interested in sex, what do we care about any of that? Uh, you're absolutely right. That's why when somebody wants to get together, I always just say... Let's make it real casual, just like you say. You shouldn't, you know, guys shouldn't spend a lot of money on women. And I, I feel the same way. Meet for coffee. If the chemistry's there, I great. Love you, go, that. you go from there. I love that musical dinner theater they have in Orange County. Now, I don't need to be you taken out to dinner. You pay one and you can see the sound of music. And they have a wonderful dinner. they got Salisbury steak. They've got uh, red potatoes, and uh, they've got you drink a little of Tom Collins there or a highball. It's fantastic. Well, you know what I have to say: if I go with a, a, a gentleman for dinner, young, old, or whatever, I'm always willing to pay for half. But I have to say, without most guys will still pay for dinner. So you I'm want? Always, do you I'm want dinner? If a guy wrote to you and said. Let's skip all the pretense here. What okay. time can I come over? Would you say yes or would you say, I'm not that kind of girl? Um, to be honest, I have to at least meet them because you never know what you might get. I mean, I usually have been right on with my intuition in regards to um, if they look like they're psycho or not. And everybody that I've met have been really great and wonderful. And, yes, there have been one meetings, and it's been a bang-out session. Really? Really. All right. Just thought I'd check, Patty. All right, Tom. All right, thanks for the call. You're welcome. Appreciate it. There we go. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. I want to talk to the oldest sexually active women we can find out there. Mary on the Tom Likas Show. Mary is 59 years old. Hello, Mary. Hi, Tom. How's it going? Great. Awesome. So tell me your story. Well, I've always been single. I don't want to get married. I'm not. I don't understand the girls that you talk about. 
Um, I am happy being single. Well, darling, you do understand that most of the women out there are like the girls I talk about. They're not like you. Well, that must be younger girls because I don't, the people that I know. Well, wait a minute. You say you've never been married. You know, most women at 59 have been married, divorced, sometimes married again. They got children, grandchildren. I understand They've at least lived with somebody. I have a child. He's now grown up. So I fulfilled that. I don't need another you, so you were not married. You had a child out of wedlock, as they say. Yeah, I did. I'm one of those. Mm-hmm. I did, but I didn't collect anything from his father. I didn't want anything to do with his father. If he wants something to do with him, that's fine. But I wanted a kid, had a kid. Wow. <laughs> and wow. Now, So now when you want to find sex, Mary, how do you find it? I just have to well, know. I found it online. You know, through the dating things. So do you site. use like Match.com or uh, Yahoo Personals or uh, what, Adult parents, Friend actually. Finder? Huh? Actually, Single Parents. Singleparents.com? Single Parents Mingle, I think it was. Single Parents Mingle.com. Yep. yep. I see. And going out, I'm kind of a flirty person anyway. Right. I'm very people oriented. So I just. Turn it on, and if I want something, I get it. Really? Yeah. So when you say you're flirty, where do you go and flirt? Anywhere. God, anywhere. anywhere. It can be down the street. It can be driving down the street in a car. It can be at a restaurant if I'm there or a store. How old is the youngest guy you ever picked up? Uh, 30-something, I think. How'd you do it? What'd you do? We just started talking in a grocery store, actually. And Did you tell him you were 59 or whatever you were at the time? I don't think age really even came up. I do look younger than my age. I have to say that. People say that all the time. But um, it never really came up. It was really? just, you know, I don't know. There was just a spark. I liked the way he talked. He liked the way I talked. We both knew what we wanted, and that's what we did. So how long did it take you to get from the grocery store into bed? <laughs> Not long. <laughs> did you go? Did you go direct from one to the other? Uh, pretty much. Did <laughs> that's you say, what I wanted that day. So, I, you know, see, that's what you wanted that day. You were in the grocery store, and uh, this is what you were shopping for, and you found it. So, did you tell him just follow me? I live not far from here. How'd that work? Yep. Yep. And he followed you exactly. to your place. Yeah. And he came in and gave you exactly what you wanted. Did you know his name or anything? Oh, and I think we exchanged names, but I can't remember it now. I'm old, remember? <laughs> I understand. So you never I even knew his... I remember the important stuff. So you never <laughs> even knew his name? Oh, um, I know I knew it. He said it, but I don't remember it. Really? Listen, we weren't there for a relationship, Tom. You should know that kind of stuff. Well, I understand, darling, but see, again, uh, I've met too many women who are the other kind of woman, you know, who say, they, you know, they want to know my middle name, and they want to know where I was born, and they want to know how many siblings I have, and they want to know what I do for a living. And You're dating the wrong kind of girls. Well, that, the problem is dating. I don't want to go on a date. Just come over and F me. <laughs> You're meeting, yeah. You're then meeting the then get the hell out, because I'm done. You need to, you're looking at the wrong kind of people. You have to look at women that are happy with who they are, and what they are, and what they want. But I can't and tell that in the grocery store. You can't tell. Yeah, you can. How, how can you tell? You can tell, because if they're willing to just talk to you and not ask all those questions, and they're a little bit flirty, and yet they're not asking the serious questions, they're just kind of goofing around and asking you stupid stuff like, do you think this stuff is good? Have you had this before? Blah, blah, blah. You know what they want. So then you just say, come on, I'm going to follow you home, and that's it. And yeah, then knock it out. Much. What are you doing? Um, are you doing anything right now? <laughs> well, I could be doing you. <laughs> really? Well, that would be a uh-huh. hint. That would be a big hint. Uh-huh. See? <laughs> That's the kind of person you need to look for. Look at that. All right, I'm going to keep my eyes open, Mary. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, Joan is calling from Beverly Hills. Joan is 81 years old. No. Oh, yeah. Joan, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello there. How are you? I'm great. Glad to talk to you after all these many years of listening to you. It's about time we finally you know, came my to the... my daughter listens every single day. We finally came to a topic you care about. Oh, do I ever? Do I ever? 
All right, so you're 81 years old, and you live in Beverly Hills, do you? Well, Century City. Uh, you're Beverly Hills adjacent. Yeah, that's right. Right, okay. And uh, so tell me about your sex life. I mean, at 81, how do you find sex? You don't have to look hard for it. I mean, how do you find it? So what, there's a bunch right of guys there. out there it's looking right for 81-year-olds? It's right, where, where is it, Joe? What, 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 and, and he's 85 in New Viagra. Really? Yeah, you don't, yeah. You have to understand that kids our age are still sexually active. <laughs> is that Century so? City, Century City is very busy. We're all retired and we have, we have plenty of time to roll around in the hay. I guess you do now, but you're married or something, right? I mean, he said, what do you mean? He's no, 85. I'm not married. So you're free and uh, you're a free agent. You can do, you can do anyone you want. That's right, and we don't have to use birth control. Well, some of you don't have to. I've found some rather fertile individuals that are getting into advanced ages. You'd be amazed. Look, Madonna's still having children, for Christ's sake. And so, Joan, uh, tell us, uh, when you're not with your fave there, your favorite squeeze is 85, like, where are some of the places uh, you would go in, like, Century City, Beverly Hills, West L.A.? Where do you pick up the guys? I don't have to pick up guys. We don't. We people don't pick up each other. Well, where do you find them? Uh, you just go downstairs to uh, what the uh, the the, no, the, the, no, the no, doorman no, 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 in your well, building? Friends, with... friends, friends introduce us. Friends, friends introduce you. They say, uh, right. well, "Here's Joe. She'd like to get. Uh, she'd like to get nailed." No, it's not like that. Joan, here's Lester. Uh, it's Lester would like to get nice. It's a little. More refined than that. So, in other words, you pretend it's not um, sex, but it really is. No, Tom, it's it's just not. It's it. You know, we, you, you friends introduce you, and you and you and you go with someone. So and we all have we all have sex. Really. Yeah. Yeah. So you're all at like a. I'm, I, again, I'm not. I'm not trying to be difficult I mean, here. It's, it's, you're at a barbecue. You're, you're, you're playing it. mahjong. I mean, where canasta? Where, where are no, you when you meet I these people? Play, I don't play anything. I just shop. All right. So you're at the store, and the cashier is somebody you know, and she introduces you to another person who wants to have sex. No, it isn't like that. How, isn't tell it? me how. Give me an example. The last guy you had sex with, uh, just casual sex. Where'd you meet him? What were you doing? What was he doing? Well, Tom, it's not exactly like that. It was a friend. I, I don't... I can't explain it. So a friend we, said, here, call this not, number. I've got um, a guy Tom, here who... Tom, forget the idea. Forget what you young people do. Forget... We do not pick up people. We do not pick up the... So you, you, have, you, have, you have relationships and then you have sex. Yeah. Yeah? What's the point of having a relationship without sex? No, it's the other way around. I, for me, I just want to have the sex. I don't really need to have a relationship. Well, you're missing a lot, Tom. You're missing a lot. So you they have lots of relationships. Together. Well, they don't have yeah, to go together, but for you, they together, do. Tom. Now, for they you, get, they do. Sex, sex is more fun, Tom, when you have a relationship. All right. So you do it by the old-fashioned way. You're it's introduced to, to someone, you know. and then you, yeah, then you date them for a while, and... A gentleman pulls out your chair and, you know, lights your cigarette or whatever. And then, then later on in the evening, maybe the two We're of you hold smoking. hands. Oh, well, yeah. I guess that's true. But you know what I'm talking about. It's a, He shows some kind of, I don't know, etiquette or some kind of, uh, you know. And then you uh, later on, you uh, two of you hold hands or something. Yeah. It's like he that. He invites right? me over for dinner. He makes a good dinner. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, how do you look naked, Joan? Do you look good? Well, no 81-year-old looks good naked. Well, I've seen a lot of these websites where the, a lot of these old people, uh, to, you know, they, they post naked pictures just like anybody else. And You're uh, kidding. No. You're kidding. No. No, I've seen a lot of them. In fact, Dean, I've, I've hooked, do you talk to my screener, Dino? I hooked Dean up with some of these websites. I showed him some of the photos. And what I have found is that a lot of the women, well, their face might look 81, but their body might look 50. That is not possible, Tom. Really? No. An 80-year-old woman looks 80 years old. I A 50-year-old woman looks 50 years old. We all the way all through. look our age. So it's not like the sun has been baking your face, but that the rest of it could be, you know, maybe have been shielded over the years? 
Pardon me? It's like like the sun has been baking your face to like alligator uh, consistency, but the rest of your body no, maybe has been covered. I don't get out in the sun. I don't get out in the sun. So you look good all over? Well, I'm all... One, but, well, yes, considering. What do you mean good all over? Well, do you look good all over? Your body, do you look... I mean, come on. If, if a guy saw you naked, would he go, oh my God, I've got to have you? Yes. Well, if you like, it's my personality has something to do, has everything to do with right. it, Right. Well, I understand all, all right. that. At least that's what okay. you think, and that's what I they may need if, to make if, you if believe. He, if he likes me when I'm dressed, he'll love me when I'm undressed. Not necessarily. <laughs> Until they see that colostomy bag, you never know what they're going to think once you take your clothes off. Listen, let me ask you another question, Chode. Uh, this is very hard. What's the youngest guy since you've been up, you know, 70s, 80s? I don't 80s? like young guys. I always like men older than myself. Older than yourself? Young, young guys. There's not many left. Well. <laughs> we just have to deal with the demographic reality here, Joan. The average man in the United States dies at 77. Yeah, I, I, I don't, um, yeah, I I like. I've always liked over. over so what do you go? You take a gurney into Nate and Al's, wait for someone to fall over. How do you do this? We do what at Nate and Al's? Do you take a gurney into Nate and Al's, wait for someone to fall over? I mean, how do you get guys older than you? Well, you wait till Marvin Davis is in town. What do you do? What do we do? Well, we do everything that young people do. So, like, if Kirk Corian's in better. town, you Only you see, we do it better. <laughs> You do it better. Are you good in the sack? Of course. Really? Yeah. Can you go all night? Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, well, in Beverly Hills, Gary, all night is 10 p.m. Everything closes up after that. Century that's, City, too, for that matter, right, Joe? That's true. Century <laughs> City gets at uh, o'clock. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Joan, we love you. Thanks a lot for the call. Dumb like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Like it. Tom Like It Show. Yeah, that's what it is. You can tell by listening. It's 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Okay. I'm trying to find the oldest sexually active females out there. Leticia on the Tom Likas yes. show. Yes. Oh, I'm long time, first time. First of all, I want to say thank you. And the reason for that is the guys that I pick up are your students. They don't want to marry anybody. They just want to hook up. I'm 44 years old. I don't want to marry a 24 or a 22-year-old kid. I want to get married again someday, but to someone that's more like my age. So these guys are perfect. Thank you. Now, do you ever hook up with guys your own age? Not really, only because I don't want... I'm fresh out of a relationship. I've only been divorced two years. I don't want anybody falling in love with me. I don't want to fall in love with anybody. I don't Why would you assume a guy your age would want to hook up? Oh, yeah, I get, I get attention, but I just don't want... That right now, I got married very young, and all I thought about while I was married is hooking up with other guys. So when I get married again, I plan to be monogamous again, and I want it to be for good and forever, if whatever you know, if that's possible. And I, I want it to be with somebody that's you know compatible with me. But you know, if you met somebody, let's say your age, forty four, you wouldn't hook up with him. Not right now, not at all. They're, they want to either stay home or go to dinner or do the family thing. I, I Really? Is oh, that so? Yeah, I don't want anybody that wants to meet my kids because I don't want to introduce anybody to my kids. I don't want to meet anybody else's kids. I just want what guys want. <laughs> you know, it's really? Late. I wish <laughs> I met more women like that. <laughs> and Usually it's the other way around. I mean, women, it's like, oh, yes, meet my family, meet my friends. No, I want that. I'm going to. Here. By the way, here's the one you get from every woman. I'm going to a wedding next Saturday. Can you come with me? Yeah, I don't. I don't want that right now. Right now, life is good. I'm doing what I wanted to do while I was married. I'm hooking up with different guys. And, and how many I guys have you hooked up with, Leticia? Who do I hook up with? How many? How many guys have you hooked up with? Um, in the last two years, about six. Six guys, not very many, because I, I have children. I'm still busy with my kids. My kids are grown. They're older. How old are your kids? I have a 25-year-old. I have a 22-year-old, and I have a 20-year-old. Have you hooked up with anybody your kid's age? <laughs> yes. Yeah? 
I have. How young have you gone? The youngest was 20. It was totally by mistake. My son had just moved into his dorm. <laughs> well, how could it totally be by mistake? I, I wasn't planning it. I just kind of, I went to take my son some food at his dorm. He wasn't there. And one of his uh, his neighbors said, you know, hey, you could bring it into my dorm. I'll, I'll save it for him. And long story short, about a week later, we hooked up. Really? Yep. And I... I, I so what, always, did you set that up? Like, did you say to him, you know what? I've always wanted to be with a 20-year-old. <laughs> no, he says, I can't believe you're, you're so-and-so's mom. And I said, yep. He says, I totally thought, you know, the whole year, the sister and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, did this led to another and we didn't hook up at his dorm we didn't hook up at my house um we found another place to hook up and and it only happened once only because he was great everything was wonderful but he was too close to my son and that would just have devastated my son so your son doesn't know this oh god no 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 my son has suspicions because he he knows i go out they never meet anybody and he knows i get attention from younger guys they have suspicions but you know, you you play away from home. Oh, boy. So did you see this guy once, or did you see him more than once? I saw him three times, but we only hooked up once. Look at you. And do you look good naked? I, I think I look wonderful naked. Really? Yeah, I look great naked. I, I've always eaten well, and because I'm... I'm single again. I have to look good. See so that? Like some of the women. Yeah, the only time you can look good. lousy is when you're married. But uh, as soon as you're single, you got to tone that up. I, I did. I, you know, I've had some surgeries. I'm not going to lie. I, I did a really? few little... I, w I went to the body shop. <laughs> really? Yeah, I went to the body shop. I had a little boob lift. I, I had big boobs to begin with. I had them fixed. I had them, you know, put where they started at 18 and, and uh little tummy tuck. And it's been five years since it's... How tummy big tuck. were your boobs? How big were they? Yeah. They were... Um, let me see. I'm 110 and I wore a 34D... And now he's reduced them to a comfortable C. Mm. So, you know, th it, there's nothing in there other than my tissue, but they're they're nice and perky, and I don't have to wear a bra if I don't want to. And uh. it's just, it's nice. And when I get married again, it's going to be forever. But for now, I just want to hook up and have fun and just do what guys want to do. Look at that. What's wrong with that, right? You're the hookup queen. What can I say? <laughs> nothing wrong with that, right? Nothing wrong with that at all, darling. <laughs> Tom Likas. The Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're trying to talk to the oldest sexually active women out there we can find. Diane on the Tom Likas Show. Diane is 54. Hello. Oh, my goodness. I've been waiting for my moment. Finally, your moment in the sun. Here it is. First of all, I want to tell you, um, thank you so much. I, because of your show, I was able to find the words to explain to my youngest son, who at the time was 20, who is now 23, why he has to stop getting involved. And because I was able to find the words to explain it to him, because of you and you know, I took your words and was able to actually sit down and explain to this kid, you know what, your life, your career, your future before anybody. And it worked. Thank you for that, number one. There you go. Okay? Because there's no father in his life since he's two, and there it was all me. But, you know, as a mom, didn't know how to find the words. So thank you, Tom Likas. I owe my son's future welfare to you. Now, on the subject at hand, um, I'm 54, been married twice, kids are grown, they're 32, um, 23, and 27. Um, I work in a profession where I have to be careful who I go out with because um, people talk, and I don't want to get a reputation in my professional business. Um, so... I meet men all the time. I get hit on all day, five days a week on job sites, okay? Really? Yep. How old are these guys who are hitting on you? Anywhere from their mid-20s to 60-something. Really? Yep. Now, I'll give a good example. 
today. I was on a job site at 6.30 in the morning because job sites um, open up very early. So you have to be there, you know, because the early bird catches the worm, so to speak. So I was trying to find out when the supervisor of this job site was going to show up because the trailer was locked. So I walked over to this guy, and he ends up being an inspector for the roof. And um, he tells me when the guy's due to show up because he's there to meet him. So, you know, we're just shooting the breeze. I'm sitting in my car, and I'm just, you know, he could just walk away, and I'm drinking my coffee and just waiting for this other guy to show up. And long story short, this other guy I was waiting for and he was waiting for was an hour and a half late, and this guy barely left my side. Okay? And our conversation consisted of his past relationships to the extent that he just wants to hook up, go out, have fun, and that's pretty much what I want. Now he knows how to contact me, but I'm sorry, he still has to be the man and make the first move and pick up the phone, okay? Okay. Uh, that's the way it goes. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. All right? I um, could be in the supermarket with or without makeup, just dress nice because I'm East Coast and... You never go out. Yeah, and, and you know the East Coast has much higher standards, much higher than, than so, the West Coast. Yeah, so I yeah. Mean, when, I, I, when, I, when I first came here in 94, I yeah, was Yeah, they're shocked. just a bunch of granola heads, a bunch of slobs. Right, Diane? Diane was shocked. <laughs> shocked. The way women go to the supermarket, the way they go shopping. I don't go out unless I got a pair of heels and a dress on. And hair has to be aquanetted to the max. Makeup. I mean, at the very, I, very, at the very least, some blush and lipstick. You carry the Aquanet in your purse, or do you have that? To leave that in the car. We keep it in the car. You I know, see. women from the East Coast. Yes, I prepared. do. It's nothing but class. Yes, we're always prepared. Yes, and darling. Be and because of that, I have several male friends that I've met along the way out here, where you know we just get out together here. out in California. Yes. Yeah. As opposed um, to where. As opposed to New York. I see. Because I've been out here since 94. Well, that's 14 years. Doesn't look like you're going back. Oh, no, baby. Okay. Wouldn't, I mean, this, wouldn't I, that indicate that this is just plain here? Here is, is California. Not out here. Just, just plain here. Well, you say it your way, and I say it my way. Well, so. I mean, if I were saying I was out here, that means it's because I'm going back there. Oh, no. No, I'm staying here. Here. Okay. In California. Right. Okay. Um, all right. So where were we? Um, uh, all the guys were seeing you in your Aquanet hair, and they were very impressed, and they're following you everywhere. Right. So, I mean, I have some friends that are guys that, you know, they date different people. Right. And, and then they call me up when they have a black tie because I know how to appear at a black tie. Because yeah, you're from the East Coast. Right. Yeah. I know how to dress. Out here, I'm nobody knows about that. I know how to act if it's a business function and not embarrass the man. I know um, if it's where he's trying to make business contacts and, right. there's, a co and there's a cocktail hour. Yes. I've got a pocket full of his business cards, and he's got a pocket full of my business cards, and we work the room for each other's benefits. Right. And, that, and, and, that's, and that's pretty much the way I was raised. You know, I saw this in my mother's what she did with my father so as far as going out different places uh i'm up at five o'clock in the morning or four thirty in the morning i'm out the door at five thirty six. First job site six thirty in the morning so pretty much my weekend is my time to go out okay i do know now after listening to your show earlier if i ever hit a dry spell where i can go in orange county because I didn't realize that Foxfire was what it is. But like I said, if I ever hit a dry spell, now I know where to go. Thank you very much. I'm here to help. I know you are. Um, so what would you like to know? I, I, I think I already know more than enough. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, Nikki on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Nikki. First of all, I want to say, is it Diane that just got done speaking? Yes. 
she's a legend in her own mind there, Tom. She had to come out here because we're a bunch of savages out here. Absolutely. She needed to bring some East Coast respectability to yeah. uh, SoCal. Uh, ever since she got out here, she's done nothing but uh, try to uh, make people understand that, uh, yeah. that we just don't understand what they got back there. Yeah, I, I guess so. I think out there takes a whole nother meaning for our friend <laughs> Diane. That would be Venus or Mars there, Diane. I hope you enjoy your planet because uh, you're the only one on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, there's one thing I did want to say. The one, the one chick that talked before her has said something about dating her son's friends or he doesn't know about it. Yes. I'll tell you something right now. If I even knew that someone was going after my son, I would kick their butt. I don't know who she thinks she is. I mean, you don't date your son's friends. That's not a MILF. That's filth, baby. <laughs> okay? Uh, it, it, it's all over. I mean, I can't even believe that. I mean, if... if, if I don't think they were dating. Well, whatever they were doing, hooking up, dating, I don't care. If that was my son, I'd be gladly going to jail for kicking her sorry butt. And I'll tell you what, it would be there would be no second thoughts to that. Really? Absolutely. You know, there's just, you know what, I have a 20 and 20 and 21 year old and um, there's a lot of cute kids that are at my house, but they're all their kids. They're all my son's friends. I don't look at them as being sexual beings. I look at them as being these kids I helped raise since they were younger. I mean, that's just baloney. I can't even believe it. I would just, I would just love 10 minutes in the rounds with her. Really? Yeah. Well, maybe she'll call back and we can set that up. Well, I'll tell you what. If you, I, <laughs> I'd like her to come to my door. That would be that would be more interesting. But to Diane out there in the East Coast, baby, I got I got family in New York. And let me tell you something: East Coasters can slob like the rest of them. I don't want to hear about your Aquanet and your always got to have a tie on. Well, was like, you notice I threw in the Aquanet and she didn't even blink. Yeah, well, she is. See, I'm not making man. that up. I'm not making that up. This is. <laughs> That's that, yeah. that. That is so Route 22 in Wayne, New Jersey. I just can't tell you. She probably puts her head over in the morning, sprays it all, sticks up. Who cares anyway? She probably still has a bouffant or what do they call those bubbles on top of your head? Oh whatever. yeah, beehives, whatever. Yeah, I know. Let me get Christina in here before the end of the hour. Christina, I have one minute, but I wanted to get you in here. Thank you. Here we are. Go. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. I ha I need your help. The 40 seconds, go. Okay, I've been dating guys that are, they, they, they look presentable, well-educated, but I've been spending everywhere I go, whether it's a restaurant, movies, I pay. And then I find out after a few weeks that they're so dead poor that I don't have the heart to have them to even buy me a french fries. Right. And um, I've been running into guys that are good talker, presentable, well-dressed, well-groomed. But, and then later on, after a few weeks, I find out they're just poor. Like this one guy I've been dating, he, he lives in, in his car. And he lives in his car? Some- Sounds like our prime demographic, for God's sake. The Tom Likas Show.